Well, I got a big dog, and a dog needs a lot of exercise. And behind me, see those red lights back there? That's my electrical fence transmitter. And the other day I noticed that she wasn't staying in the yard, so I had to hunt and find how to fix the wire, which I have over a half acre and it goes all the way around the perimeter of the yard, so finding the break can be a tricky situation. So I figured out a way to do it and I thought I'd share that and with anybody else, see if they ever need to trace a, any type of electrical wire in their backyard. This might be the way for you. This is the basic transmitter that most of them are pretty much the same. Here you have the indicator that shows that it's getting power to the unit. This is the light that was not working on mine. It just shows the continuous loop. This is the in and out of the wire that goes around the yard. And this is the dial that you can control how much radius around the wire it goes. This is a generic layout of what most electronic dog fences look like. If there's a split or a break, like in my case, of this wire, the transmission will not go all the way through and your dog fence won't work. Now finding this is a hard thing. Now if you've ever been listening to your radio, AM, usually lower down on the dial, sometimes you get interference from the motor engine or power lines going overhead and that's what we're going to use to help us trace where the break in the line is. The first thing you want to do is disconnect whatever you're trying to trace because it could cause a problem with whatever it's hooked into. So no matter what wire you're looking for in tracing, you're going to have to find a place where you can access and cut into it and splice a new wire into it. With the one wire connected to the splice, take the other end and coil it around the spark plug of a lawnmower. Now take an AM radio, set it to 5.30 AM, and sweep it across the ground. I used headphones, but to show better in the video, I went ahead and hooked it up to a speaker. It'll get louder and louder the closer you get. You could hear it skip just there. That's right when it is over the top of the wire. Just scan back and forth in different sections of your yard, and then you can pinpoint exactly where the break is, where the sound stops. Coming from both angles, this is exactly where this point stopped. So I just removed the old wire with the split in it, and added the new wire. Hook it back up, and see if it works. Boom, it worked. I think this should work with any buried wire in your backyard.